If you've been watching the channel over the last few months, you might have heard me talking about the Shroom Room, an automated fruiting chamber for growing mushrooms at home. Well, that was a prototype, and although I'm sure many of you are waiting to see the final version, it's still in development, although it's getting much closer. In this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and going over version 1.5 of the Shroom Room, which is now officially called the Mela. I'm super excited about this thing, so let's jump right into it. By the way, this Mela design, if you didn't know, is by a group called The First Build. And if you wanna be the first to know about when this is actually released as a consumer version, make sure you click the link in the description. It will take you to a landing page where you can sign up for mailing list and be the first to know all the details about when this thing is actually ready. So I have my trusty mushroom scalpel. Let's open this thing up. We got a little bit of a shaggy mane ink on the box. Don't worry, it doesn't come like that. And this is a nice little surprise. Big thanks to everyone that helped us co-create this product. Again, I said this is the uh, second version of the prototype, so we already have the first one, and it was kind of an iterative process to go through and you know figure out what works and what doesn't and come up with a version that will eventually be for sale that people can use. So you can tell already that this one is a little bit bigger. The idea was to make it bigger so that we could fit more fruiting blocks on the inside. So that's a really cool, immediately noticeable thing about the 2.0. So this looks like the water reservoir. In the first version, you had to pour the water in the bottom, but this one looks like it has a nice little tank. Probably the filter. We'll go over all these pieces later. Look at that. It's a nice first build gear. And a shirt. Got an instruction book. Eh, we don't need those. Another thing that looks like you plug some stuff into. We'll find out. It looks like something to do with the Wi-Fi, which is cool. Maybe it's Wi-Fi compatible. And of course, the stuff to power it up. So I got all my components here and some nice swag from First Build. I don't think this is gonna be complicated, but just in case it is, I'm gonna throw on my Maker shirt. Let's get building. The basic concept of the Mela is the same as the original prototype. You want a small enclosed area that provides both fresh air and humidity. The only difference is the Mela achieves that using a couple different ways. So in the original prototype version, this filter and the water were on a tray below and it worked pretty fine, except it was a little bit cumbersome. You had to open the door up to pour the water in and spores would collect on the filter and whatnot. So this one achieves it by having the water basin on the outside. That means it can also be refilled and then the filter is on the inside. It still achieves the same goal just in a much more effective way. So again the water tank is on the outside which again is a huge improvement because it makes things a lot cleaner on the inside and a lot less of a pain to kind of fill up and basically how it works is water will sit in this reservoir it gets absorbed by that wicking filter in there and then that fan will blow it around and humidify the inside of the chamber. There's also another sensor in the back here I'm pretty sure that's the hygrometer that's going to let you know what the relative humidity is inside of your chamber and all of that is going to be fed into a computer that you can access through Wi-Fi which I will show you in a second. But again here with the Mela you have fresh air you have humidity you have light and you're ready to grow mushrooms. The one other thing I will say about this design is that it is much cleaner. So the initial prototype, it had a tray, it had kind of a flimsy thing for adding water to it. It was just a lot messier, especially once the mushrooms start to sporulate, they will collect in all those corners and it's kind of a pain to clean up. Still worked really great, but this design looks a lot cleaner and a lot easier to use. Mushrooms also need light. A lot of people think mushrooms just grow in the dark, but they actually grow a lot better if they have proper lighting. And that's what is up here. There's four LED lights that that will shine on the mushrooms and help them grow. So this is the brains of the Mela. I think there's a little Raspberry Pi in there, but basically what it does is it controls the lighting and the fans and everything. And what's super cool is you can actually control the settings using a separate program, which I'll show you in a minute. But the other really cool thing about the Mela versus the initial Shroom Room is that this one is Wi-Fi compatible. So that was a lot of the feedback from the original one was it literally had to be plugged directly into a wall, which is fine, but it's a bit of a pain. So with this one, it's completely Wi-Fi compatible. So all you gotta do is put it back there and then we're gonna put in the cables. So here, just for comparison's sake, we have them side by side. This is the original prototype. This is the new Mela. Obviously, you can see, again, it's a little bit bigger. And if we look on the inside, you can see in the old version, it's got the filter there, which looks pretty dirty because it had spores that covered it all over the place. Also, you can see the fan kind of got covered in spores and it's just a little more cumbersome to work with. So I'm pretty excited about this new one with the water tank on the outside, the clean inside, and just overall better design. So I think this one's gonna work really well. So 
So after a little bit of messing around, I'm logged in now through Wi-Fi to the control system or the brains of the Mela, and this will allow me to not only check on the humidity, check on the temperature, but also change the amount of fresh air that it's bringing in, which will maybe change the humidity um, and kind of play around with the settings. So for example, if I'm growing oyster mushrooms, they want a lot more fresh air, so I can increase the fresh air content and allow those oyster mushrooms to grow those big, beautiful caps. Whereas if I'm growing something like enoki, I can maybe turn that fresh air down a little bit so you get those long, slender enoki shapes. So it's pretty cool to see uh, all this data right on your phone. You can also connect it to your computer if you'd rather do that. But again, pretty easy and connects right through Wi-Fi. That being said, once you plug it in, it does come with preloaded settings that are pretty good for growing mushrooms. So I don't know this for sure, but if you don't want to mess around with the app or the Wi-Fi connection, you probably don't have to. You probably just have to plug it in and it will go. So this thing's all set up and ready to go. And now we're going to be growing some mushrooms in there. I'm going to be growing some lion's mane and two different types of oysters all at the same time and just kind of see how it goes. We'll do all the growing and show you how well it works in a subsequent video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Full disclosure, I am acting as an affiliate for First Build. So if you end up purchasing one of these when it finally becomes available, we may receive a commission. That being said, I really do think this is an awesome unit and that a lot of people are going to get insane amounts of value from it. Of course, you don't need something like this. If you just want to grow mushrooms at home, you can quite easily grow mushrooms on your countertop. You can build a shotgun fruiting chamber. You can do all sorts of other things to get the right conditions to grow mushrooms. But if you want a beautifully designed, fully functioning mushroom fruiting chamber that's going to look great on your countertop, you can grow lots of mushrooms in it and show it off everywhere, then this might be a really cool unit for you. So I just wanted to provide that disclosure. But again, I'm super excited about this project. I'm happy to use it myself and I can't wait to see what people can do with it. So let's get some blocks in the fruiting chamber and be sure you stay tuned for a future video to see how it all went and for more info on the Mela. 